It was another major week for the Wyatt Six, along with some major signs of them colliding with familiar faces in the future, so we'll see what they're up to. Starting things off with the Wyatt Six and their official in-ring debut. Uncle Howdy and the Wyatts have been terrorizing Chad Gable since they first arrived on Raw in mid-June, but the August 5th edition of Raw was finally time to see what the Wyatts looked like in official action. It was Eric Rowan, Joe Gacy, and Dexter Loomis versus Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers, who just got the new faction name of American Maid. In a prior backstage segment, Chad Gable told Maxine Dupree that they can keep the Alpha Academy name since he has this new faction with the Creed Brothers. It also looks like Chad Gable is looking to ruin the friendship between Ivy Nil and Maxine Dupree, so there'll be a mini storyline to monitor in the coming weeks. But getting back to the six-man tag match, we see the Wyatt Six first official entrance on Raw. For weeks now, they've been coming out to one single piano note from Bray Wyatt's old Shatter theme song, and it had a lot of fans wondering if they were going to ever use the full song, or just keep that single piano note. Well, we get the answer here as the entire group made their way out to the full version of Bray Wyatt's 2022-23 WWE theme song, Shatter. So getting to hear that song again and seeing the Wyatt members walk out to it was a special moment. There was another key tribute within the entrance that you probably noticed. The Wyatt Six entrance starts off with Bray's signature rocking chair holding the lantern on it. It's then Uncle Howdy who comes around and picks it up from the chair. It looks like having the chair and lantern open up their entrance is basically to represent Bray Wyatt's presence in the entrance. The chair is basically Bray Wyatt opening the entrance and lighting the way for them to walk, and Uncle Howdy coming out to take the lantern from the rocking chair is meant to be a sign of Uncle Howdy basically taking it from Bray's hands and walking them down the rest of the way. So such emotional little detail and tributes that Bray Wyatt basically still has a role within the entrance of the Wyatt Six. The rocking chair was eventually brought to ringside, and Uncle Howdy sat down in the chair to watch the match with Nikki Cross sitting in front of him. Which again, this is another clear mirror representation to how Bray Wyatt used to sit in his rocking chair at ringside to watch his family compete. Uncle Howdy now finds himself doing the exact same thing. But it was an electrifying six-man tag match from start to finish. It's usually hard to say interested in a six-man tag match, especially with nothing at stake. But this match felt so different, it felt special, it felt like something was on the line, and it was just full of so many exciting spots and constant action that kept you glued to your screen. Each of the three Wyatt members all had their big moments to shine equally and it was done so well. Eric Rowan even hit several big moves in his huge sequence, and even paid tribute to Brody Lee by hitting one of Brody's signature moves. To see Eric Rowan in the ring in his first WWE match in several years, paying tribute to the Wyatt family as the last remaining member of the original group, was such a special moment itself. But the Wyatts pick up the win and Shatter plays again as they pose inside the ring to send Raw off air. But thanks to some fan recorded footage, you could see what takes place after Raw went off the air. The Wyatts shared an emotional hug and were pointing to the sky while Shatter continued to play. Just a very special moment. Michael Cole also specified how the identities of the Wyatt Six members work. Each member appears to have their normal selves and carry out their own personas with them, but that they're so sick that they actually believe that they're the real-life version of the Firefly Funhouse puppets. So Michael Cole bounced back and forth between calling them their puppet names and their real names. But for whatever reason, he doesn't apply this concept to Uncle Howdy and Nikki Cross. He didn't refer to them as their ordinary names. So just an interesting little thing to keep an eye on. But the other big Wyatt-related news revolves around Braun Strowman and Alexa Bliss. During a recent interview with The Ringer, Braun Strowman, formerly a Wyatt family member, shared his interesting insight on the group. He had this to say, quote, They're terrifying. There's no other way to put it. I've said this a couple of times in interviews. I'm purposely trying to stay as far away as I can right now because that part of me, I work really hard to put away. There's a monster inside of this monster and I feel him rattle his cage. 
because there's something about them that I can feel myself wanting to be pulled. I'm fighting it. I don't want to go there. I don't want to let him back out. If they're able to pull it back out of me, I fear for myself. I fear for anything that's around me. I'm not a good person when it comes out, and I'm very good at doing bad things to people." End quote. So that's a very, very interesting response there by Braun Strowman, and basically sounds like an amazing storyline angle for WWE to actually bring to television. When this group was first forming, a thing that fans wondered about was why the old Bray Wyatt friends such as Braun Strowman and Alexa Bliss weren't included in the plans. Well, Braun Strowman is giving the answer to that question, at least on his behalf. He's saying that he's purposely staying away from the group because he knows what will happen if he gets close to them, that they're going to bring out that old side to him, that old monster from Strowman days in the Wyatt family, and he doesn't want that to happen. Even without being in direct contact with the group, Braun Strowman says he can still feel their presence trying to pull him towards them and how he's actively trying to fight that right now. And this is just an interesting foundation for WWE to build a Uncle Howdy vs. Braun Strowman feud on. Uncle Howdy is continuing his journey of recruiting original close friends of Bray Wyatt to join their cause and mission, but Braun Strowman is hesitant because he doesn't want to tap back into that dark side. But if anyone's going to make him tap into it and revisit his Wyatt past, it's going to be Uncle Howdy in the Wyatt Six. And after some initial struggling, Maybe that feud and angle does end with Braun Strowman giving in and joining the Wyatt Six. It was such an amazing answer by Strowman because it really did beautifully paint a picture. To see a future feud down the line of Strowman confronting his past by feuding with the Wyatt Six while also being forced to possibly confront his former self as well. And in other Wyatt Six potential new member news, Alexa Bliss took to Instagram this week to share a new selfie that for the first time in a long time, she added the pink tips back to her hair. The pink tips is obviously Alexa's signature WWE look. Alexa also reposted a friend's Instagram story where you could see her with fully pink tips after all. She wasn't joking one bit. So the fact that Alexa has posted herself training and now putting the pink color back into her hair, it has fans very curious to know just how close Alexa is to returning, and it'll most likely be a similar story for Alexa Bliss. If Braun can feel the Wyatts pull because of prior connection to them, that must mean that Alexa Bliss feels the pull as well, and she'll likely be forced to revisit her past. Alexa does have deep history with Uncle Howdy and Nikki Cross, so if anyone's going to pull her fully in, it's them. And who knows, if Strowman joins the group before Alexa does, he can also play a big part in recruiting her, since he has the longest history with her out of anyone in the group. So the Wyatts are off to a hot start, and could have even more exciting programs with Strowman and Bliss way down the line. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys.